Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. Now technically I know there's Windows 10 and there's been Windows 8 before, but there are some type of people out here that still used to use Windows 7. And they probably liked that old layout even though how it looked also kind of like from Windows Vista and maybe even up to Windows XP back then. But you see how the current menu has changed and it's kind of sometimes confusing from what they used to remember. So in this video I'll be showing you how to download and install a program called Classic Shell that will bring up a little bit more closer look of how Windows 7 used to look on the start menu. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So first thing you just go ahead and open up a browser. I'm pretty much opening up Google Chrome. And on the search bar, I'm pretty much going to just type in classicshell.net and pretty much it's already coming up automatically. This is what the site looks like. And it kind of shows you some photos already of what it looks like currently. And we're going to choose the regular download file, the current version. There are many different languages that are here from French to Italian to Polish to German, Russian, Spanish, traditional Chinese. I'm going to choose the English one and let this file download. So the file has pretty much finished downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and click the file and it'll probably pop up like this. I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and press next and I'll tell us some license agreements. If you want to read them, you can. And then press next. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the default settings that are there and where the location is being installed. And it tells us if you want to create a start menu folder, you can do it too. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. And you'll probably be prompted for this to come up. Go ahead and press yes. And it tells if you want to view the readme file. I'm actually going to just uncheck it. You can go ahead and leave if you want to read it. And here is the start menu. Now technically sometimes it may not pop up automatically. You might have to click it and I'll probably prompt you up. And I'll then take you to this layout. Kind of like this on its setup. Now there's many different ways you want to choose it. You can choose the classic or classic with two columns. Or you can choose the Windows 7 style. And you can choose a skin type. And there's Windows Arrow, there's Metro. I'm gonna choose Metro and see what it looks like. That's usually what the current one looks like, and this is what it looks like. I don't like this one. This is what it currently comes out when you install this program. So you would right click on it and choose settings. And you can choose like the Windows 8 if you want that one to come up. Let's randomly see how that start menu looks like. This is like a Windows 8 start menu style look. It looks pretty cool. Now if you don't like that one, you can go to settings again and you'll choose again the skin. And uh, we can choose the what do you see one called the Windows Arrow Edition and press OK. And this looks very more close like what the Windows 7 used to look like. And this is pretty much how the program works. If you want to change it, you can just right click on it, choose settings, and you can pretty much just come and tinker with it. The start menu icons can be changed, but again, it's a little clever how it needs to be set for there. You can choose a classic style if you actually like that one, the old one like this. That one is not really that's an old newer version kind of looks like so let's go to settings and let's see if we can select skins and that's the metro version let's type in literally the classic skin and press ok and let's see what it looks like that looks like an old windows now pretty much windows 95 and windows 98 like old layout maybe windows 2000 i don't remember how old it is but you can customize this based of how you want it to be i'm gonna go to styles again and i'm gonna choose the windows 7 styles and the current ones that I would choose is the skin and choose the Windows Arrow. That's the one that I like. You can choose if you want small icons, large fonts, reduce the glass colors. It's up to you, your customization. And again, you can back up your settings how you want them. You can reset all the settings you want to. If we've been having problems, regardless, you'll choose that option and you can press OK. And this is what you will get. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.